my name is Jennifer and I'm Joe's Santa Maria's mother and we're here doing uh, his interview for the immigration project and we had to decide which uh, side of the family we would talk about uh, because we have family that comes from Spain, Mexico and then my side that comes from <coughs> Switzerland, Finland and Sweden. So we're going to focus on uh, my family's side Sweden, Finland, and Switzerland. So the Matson family came from Harstrom, Finland. That'd be Gabriel Matson with one T. Uh, and then uh, they were farmers. And then Edith Matson, uh, that's Matson with two T's, was born in Eiland, Finland, which is an island in the Baltic Sea off the eastern coast of Sweden. The family has been there since 1777. And then we have the Weiss family uh, who came from Isaflu, Switzerland. And the Weiss family were also farmers. About, uh, at the time, at about 1900, these countries were experiencing crop failures, a slump in the building industry, and an international economic recession triggered by a downturn in the Russian economy, which could be reasons for why they immigrated. The attraction for immigration to America was for several reasons. Famine and poor agricultural production and more opportunity, but also because there was physical abuse happening in the Matson family by the father of the ladies who immigrated here. So, um, little is known about the family's actual travel experience, uh, but uh, researching Ellis Island, the people who immigrated to America came through Ellis Island. If they were sick or otherwise not deemed to be independent were sent back to their homeland. Many were farmers, builders, merchants, and were anxious to begin new lives in America. So Hel Helma and Lena Matson, uh, who were Edith's sisters, immigrated first in the early 1900s via Ellis Island. Lena Matson actually came to America by promising a man she would marry him, and he paid her passage. When she got here, she did not want to marry him, and so she paid to work uh, and pay him back the passage money. Edith uh, and Gabriel Matson, um, at the time when they immigrated, they didn't know each other, but they both came over in the early 1900s and met each other later on. Edith Matson first lived and worked in New York City where she lived in a hotel for single women. Then Edith made her way by train to Kalma, Washington, and then was ferried to Portland, Oregon. She uh, was following her two sisters that came before her that were already settled in Portland, Oregon. So to assimilate, one of the things they did was they stopped speaking their native language and learned to speak only English. They loved America and refused to speak the language of their homeland. So their goals, we believe, was to seek a better life. Not necessarily an easier life, because they did work very hard in America, but the opportunity to live as they wished and to raise families. And in that, I think they were successful. So Lena and Helma and Gabriel Matson all arrived via Ellis Island. And Edith Matson came a little bit later. She came uh, to Boston and then immigrated to Washington. Edith Matson, she worked as a maid until she had the funds to migrate to Oregon. After her husband, Gabriel Matson, died at age 32, leaving her with three children, 
she opened and ran a boarding house. At the boarding house, Edith met her second husband, Russell Barkley Jones, and moved to Kelso, Washington, where Jones had a pool hall. Edith went to work running a laundromat business. Gabriel Matson, before he died, was a plumber. He helped build the Oregon State Capitol. He died at age 32 from complications from the flu. Lena Matson, Edith's sister, went to work for a wealthy person in Portland, Oregon. She was known for taking in Swedish girls to teach them the ways of the U.S. She would teach them to read and speak English. She did that until she married. And Conrad Weiss, who we haven't really talked about, um, who was Joe's grandmother's father, uh, he came from Switzerland. He was a builder, and in Portland, Oregon, he built many craftsman-style homes and helped build the First Baptist Church in Portland. So there weren't a lot of, uh, there wasn't a lot of assistance for immigrants. Um, they had to arrive here um, with some independence, some level of independence. Uh, for our family members, um, they only had their fellow family member, family members who previously immigrated. Those were the people that were there to help them. Other than that, they relied on themselves to survive. So as for money, I don't believe uh, they had much. Uh, not much is known about it. Uh, as history tells it, some immigrants had some money, enough for passage on the ship and enough to travel to their destinations. They did not bring many belongings as far as I know. As history tells it, the on they only brought what they could carry unless they could pay for transport for other items. Many were poor immigrants. They arrived with skills in the trades as merchants or in agriculture, but didn't have much money. So we don't know, because we didn't know these family members personally, we don't really have the answer to that question. Uh, so it's unknown. Uh, what we do know of their personal stories and the photographs that we have show a large happy family that was thriving and growing in America. The three sisters, Lena, Helma, and Edith, had escaped the abusiveness of their father, who had beat all of them when chores on the farm in Finland were not done to his satisfaction. They went on to marry and have families and jobs in America. To this day, their father's grave is left untended. That's how much he was hated. <laughs>